Welcome back to the Kirito. We're going to play Survival Chaos and we're up against Manuel today. And some other guys that I personally did not recognize. We are playing this game really, really early. And we just joined a different battle. So let's hope these guys can fight really well. But since we are not a host, I do hope the host is at least somewhat experienced. Achievement run on AU4. Yeah, I will probably be very stupid and newbie to ask what AU4 is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an honor to be seeing Manuel in battle. A wonderful guy. And he just deserves to be punished. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> alright, right, right, right. So yeah, my throat is currently okay. It's not really in good position. It's still uh, itchy, but hey, hopefully, hopefully we do not have to grunt out much. Unless we will be getting the horde, of course. Then it's necessary to grunt. Feel strange to not be <clears throat> picking. Um, oh no! There are actually three orc races and we got the gnomes. Well, I'm gonna let you guys decide how much we will have to suffer today. What kind of bonus would you guys like to see? My oh, man, we're playing again. <clears throat> three incredibly powerful early races and we got the gnomes. We're doomed. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, why did we even have to go on camp to show this really nasty humiliation? <clears throat> Routers, I guess that that's the tier 1 melee units. Not entirely certain about that, but I think they are. I'm gonna be getting pushed everywhere really, really hard. And. I wonder what we... Yeah. I'm gonna be rewarding myself with something nice I guess if we're gonna be victorious this game. <coughs> Not seeing any requests. Tier 1 range seems okay. That's the first one. The ST Mark 1. Right, Gorg is the only one with a request here. So that's gonna be an easy, easy pick. At least we <coughs> should be decently strong with tier 3 barracks. We might be needing them, especially against the Dark Hordes. If it goes for the Drakes, we probably will have to deal with those Drakes. So it's very likely that we have a Tank Lab at level 3 at the top, while still being tier 1 at the Foundry. Let's show them how slow we are. We're, we are definitely short of gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, this is a disaster. At least we got a mana fountain nearby. Even a gold <sighs> metal mine. <clears throat> I'm gonna be having enough gold to upgrade instantly. Let's go to the top. I mean, that's a metal mine there. There's no reason not to think that he's gonna be upgrading against me anytime soon. Maybe the others will go middle lane first. But we might even have to deal with the Felix pushing through the middle lane if we're unlucky. Ah, he went middle lane, he went middle lane. That's good. That means we might be getting control over those two neutral buildings. Uh, he's going hard on Junta Brace. It's kind of bad news for us. <clears throat> Let's try not to get too much damage everywhere. Right, we should be good. If we get the repairs, we're gonna be in better shape. Hopefully we can build up a decent backline. We can also repair the spider tanks. But yeah, the Darkhold will be in control of the lane. He will be getting a lot of... Um, gold from here. <coughs> but he will give him protection from possible fell or assault from the middle lane. 
So we just got to be smart, man. <clears throat> we got way less resources. We are much, much weaker early on. If he gets the two barracks against me soon, then that's going to be problematic. If we go the two <clears throat> middle lane, we will probably be feeding the Dark Wards. If we go to free top lane, we will probably be feeding him even more. But we should be in a relatively good state early on here if we do so. Hopefully we can stay in control over the metal mine. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to be rushing that to free barracks stop. So then we also will have protection against the drakes. He could be going for tier 2 barracks here and a tier 2 fort and then send the drakes to push out really hard early on. <clears throat> He'd be farming the lane like, I don't know man, like a, a million years to come. Now he went <clears throat> tier 2 top, so yeah, we're gonna be going tier 3. We got time with the orcs. Mill lane once again would not be profitable for us. Did he use defense spell all the way there? <clears throat> I think he did, I think he did. He's like even playing with the early um, bonus with the increased strength of the melee units. <clears throat> right, orcs. We're over there. Yeah, what can. Oh! <clears throat> That's a huge um, issue here. He got a lot of gold for losing the right back, so did the Felox. So the Felox might be controlling the lane soon. He might be upgrading the left barracks now to push me. <clears throat> Hopefully we are going to buy some time here. He could still be winning this if we're unlucky. We might have to upgrade <coughs> into a tier 2 barracks there sooner or later. Hopefully we will be able to control the melt mine. I mean, we really need a lot of gold. But Manuel at the brink of snowballing it. <coughs> Same with him. It's kept neutral building. Yeah, he already lost here, so he definitely did upgrade against me. We will have to use a few defense spells then to hold the line. This better be upgrading quickly. We're definitely gonna have to buy a few units to stop the orcs. But we are upgrading our defenses. There they are. <coughs> there they are. Yeah, I'd rather be investing in some men here to stay alive. Especially with the mana fountain. We did stabilize the top. We might have to deal with the dragon soon. Felix <coughs> definitely tier 2 at the middle lane. The fact that he destroyed his barracks doesn't matter too much since he's probably going to be destroying the towers as well. So he's not falling behind and we might be seeing tier 3 barracks from him there soon as well. And he might go tier 3 against me. Key, long time to no catch live laughing face. <coughs> hey Laris, nice to see you man. It's a true honor to be having you around again. How are you doing? And I'm amazed, 11 months. That's a long time, man. I'm very, very honored to have you still with us here. And hopefully for a much longer time to come. <coughs> He's still tier 1. So he might definitely be going tier 3 soon. He didn't upgrade his units all too much except for the Warlocks. So he <coughs> might be performing decently well there for the time being. You got Bloodlust. If it goes to 3, we will be shooting down the aliens rather quickly with our uh, spider tank. So I think we are in decent shape over there. Yeah, I really want to save up more gold for the repairs, but I'm just trying to get my army strong enough to deal with the orcs first. Because he'll, he'll be costing me a lot of gold otherwise. Igrudo. Let's use it again. Excellent. Gonna get the repairs and then we're gonna be upgrading the middle barracks to tier 2. At least get some protection against the Felox. We might be going tier 3. <coughs> right, we went tier 3. At least the spider tanks will be shooting down those air units quickly. Perfect. Getting the pressure on the Dark Order.
Yeah, and <clears throat> I do live stream on really strange hours. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> the premise on YouTube always come at the same hour, but the live streams are all over the place. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna keep upgrading. Hopefully, we will stay control over the metal mine. Still struggling with the orcs, which is not crazy with their early strength. If we go to free, we will be in good shape against them. <clears throat> right, if we can eliminate his front lines there, we might be able to stay in control here. But this can't be tough, man. At least we have superior unit upgrades. And we did slay one warlock. Bytles? Death to all will pose the horde. <coughs> Could be Samir as well. I'm on the job. Right, one more. <coughs> yeah, it's gonna just stay, be staying in control against me. Two bytes indeed. Alright, the Felix might be pushing through soon then. I mean, <coughs> he is very strong with his army, he is tier 2, orcs are tier 2, we're still tier 1, so this force will probably hit me sooner or later. So I'm gonna be going crazy here, <coughs> I will not even invest into tier 2 barracks middle lane, I'm going tier 3 silence. Hopefully keep control over the silence so that we can focus our defense on Jibaitos. If he's gonna come in with a massive wave, then that might be a real problem for us. But I think we should be good on side lanes. Hopefully we can refill our mana a little bit. <coughs> Definitely take a risk. Us because we are pushing him, we might be seeing the Drake soon and then we're gonna be in trouble there. <coughs> yeah, he's already... Snowball in the lane. <coughs> There's zero reason why we should send a hero against the Bytos. <coughs> Alright. Still tier 1 on the Black Citadel. <coughs> That's the only good news that we have. He did buy several... Oh no, he didn't buy units. But the fortification will hopefully allow us to deal with the Felox a little bit better. And we might be going tier 2 here, <coughs> or get the tier 2 foundry. Yeah, already coming in, as expected. Maybe he tries to force me into a tier 2 barracks, but as long as we can prevent that from happening, I'd be really happy. <coughs> I mean, we are already falling behind financially. Just might a few units to get the redirection on going. <coughs> Especially with Jibaitos. Generally, isn't the easiest hero to redirect. <coughs> right, tier 2 now. Might even be going to 3 death sooner or later. We got that hero kill rather quickly. Man, that orc went for a lot of damage. Zero armor and pillage as well now. Should be good. Might be losing reinforcements from the top to defend against the Bytos. Nah, <coughs> this cup is still gonna be going top. But I think we defend this extremely well. Rexa with the tier 2 barracks. Should be enough to counter attack me. He's 5 1. But hopefully we can keep the Felox in check in the middle lane. <coughs> yeah, it's the Dark Horde. They got recently added in versions 3.8, this is 3.81, so they've been in the game for a little while. But they were broken in 3.8. That tier 2 spell summons dragons, which just usually eliminated the enemy barracks instantly. <coughs> right, we got that hero incoming. Should be an easy redirection, but we really need to upgrade the foundry. Gonna be on the results from the Dark Horde as well. In big <coughs> grenade could be nice. <coughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, this is gonna be tricky to defend. Kinda annoying that we are already long, running low mana. But hopefully we can refill it <coughs> sooner or later. This might be a bigger threat to us than the bomb lane, but both the Orcs and the Dark Horde got a lot of uh, attack damage upgrades. <coughs> That's the main issue that we will have to face. Um, <coughs> I think getting the drop to butt will be incredible. F Chuck probably, Big Sap, some auto repair bots. Juggling Link, of course. Hmm, <coughs> what should we be going for? <coughs> Let's get more damage. I think that's the best thing we can currently go for. Let's get dropped to bot some extra units. We will probably have to keep a <coughs> defense spell for the top. 10 seconds. <coughs> yeah, this will cost me a fair bit of gold. Eh, maybe not as bad as I initially thought. I mean, should be able to eliminate these <coughs> um, wolf riders before they will attack me. Dogwood incoming though, <coughs> so we need to be cautious not to take too much damage from the orc. Oh, and they did spawn at a really bad time for us. Let's go on, big sap. Let's get one out three bad bots. Let's eliminate the frontliners and then we're gonna be getting the upgrades and going. We got the increased damage at the towers and, the, and all other buildings, so we can eliminate enemy arms rather quickly if we're under attack. And we will probably be under attack for several times in this game. <coughs> at least we eliminate enemy air units rather swiftly. Right, this defensive when defending went decently well, especially considering we were under attack from two different sides. Uh, he got the Tito magic, <coughs> and that makes him very powerful with these summoned uh, car core hounds. And I think we should be able to hold line there. From mill lane, <coughs> instinct choice. Gudan is gonna be going mill lane to kill him. If we can join the fight with Sicko and pass the tier 3 barracks, then the middle lane might be very profitable for us. I mean, Sicko doesn't die all too easily. Should be able to eliminate the Dark Horde with the tier 3 barracks, just like we're doing here. Especially if we get the MP grenade. <coughs> Yeah, I'm decently happy with the flow of the game here. <laughs> the early game, it's never easy with gnomes, <coughs> but we went through that rather well. We can stun the enemies. <coughs> we get the four barracks and the uh, overkill, then we will be extremely powerful early on in the battlefield. So I might be staying to the foundry. Not rush Fitzpatrick, which is definitely a legit strategy if we want to do so. <coughs> and I really want to keep up with the enemies with my arm strength. <coughs> yeah, he's slowly bleeding. He definitely needs the mana shield. He can go for it. But Felix is definitely still only tier 2 against him. Go down. <coughs> Not looking too great. Yeah, it's a bit of risk. But he might be able to kill both heroes here. But like I said, it's gonna be a great risk. In the meantime, we just have to keep upgrading our army. <coughs> Not performing all too well here yet. But we should be the one to fight the Dark Horde, kill them quickly, and then we might be slaying <coughs> Frau. Might still be losing to Gul'dan. Gul'dan might also be killing Frau. Just need a bit of luck here. Smuro with just tier 2. <coughs> yeah, that's gonna be annoying because he's just allowing me to get a good amount of gold from middle lane. 
Man, that sickle's a really, really crazy move. And if we can't stop the Felix from farming the lane, then he might be falling behind financially, which is exactly what we want. Aftershock, more damage. Can, yeah, <clears throat> the purge is amazing because it deals a lot of damage to summon units from the um, Felix, of course. I go down taking some damage from my army here. That's unexpected. <clears throat> but not too bad as long as we're not fighting all enemy armies at once. Let's get even more armor. Want to be building up massive backlines. Just like here. <clears throat> yeah, we're fighting every arm here. That's possible. That's not cool. We did say two heroes, only some ones. <clears throat> and Godan got Frawl destroyed. Yeah, unfortunate. No rent with Tifri. Yeah, we might need a hero there. We could send a hero here, but that's not even necessary. Just need to be cautious not to take too much damage on my base. <coughs> he went for the Tito spell, which is gonna give us trouble with the middle lane as well. Unfortunate indeed. <coughs> more attack rate, more evasion. Seems okay. <coughs> yeah, I think these drakes will give the advantage to go down. Uh, maybe we can also purge the Black Drakes. I think we should be able to do that. That would really help us out with those Drakes. <coughs> of course he uses his annoying illusion at the worst time for us. But if we can kill most of the Orcs here, then that would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, Felix indeed got a mess farm because of those filthy drakes. Let's shoot the mages down. <coughs> so, uh, hounds really want to the, the wolf rides really want to hit the barracks there. That's cool, Sumero. That's fine. At least we can build up mess farm here. Allow Doran to attack me a little bit quicker. Sicko can heal himself really well, but he's in really bad shape. Or at least in really poor position compared to Godan. <coughs> well, if we send a hero out here right now, we will be... Lose the hero in the fight against Dark Lord over there. If we do not go tier 4, we will be losing Sicko. But then we might not be getting a hero at the right time against the Dark Lord. <coughs> That's a, a risk I'm willing to take. We really need to do something about the Felox. I mean, I cannot allow Sicko to go down here against Gul'dan. Even the Orcs are backstabbing me. We might be losing some reinforcements to also deal with the Dark Lord over there. <coughs> but yeah, at least it's gonna be tanking the Dark Lord. Said the didn't summon the dragons at this moment. I don't know, man. <coughs> I don't know. This fight could literally still go anywhere. Still got one annoying drag over there. <coughs> Don't want to be taking too much damage at my poor foundry. Gonna be getting reinforced middle lane that we should be able to take care of him. I think it's the only wave that we will be losing to defend the middle lane. <coughs> Look, some damage at this tower. 30 seconds, yeah, he should be going down then. He should be going down. <coughs> I still will be getting quite some force in the middle lane. Woo! Goodbye, Orc. <coughs> Goodbye, indeed. Excellent news. Sicko, 
at the brink of dying over there. <coughs> this is definitely good news for us. But we will have to deal with the Felix on the long lane now. Let's go there for top. <coughs> Pressure the Felix a little bit more. Yeah, Sickles is gonna get these reinforcements just slightly too late, I'm afraid. <coughs> He's gonna be burst down. Felix also tier 3 mid lane. Even the orcs backstabbing me. Come on, Dark Horde, play with the fell orcs here. Please heal yourself. Use the repair spell. Yeah, <coughs> he's repairing. Eh, not the worst time, but the Dark Horde is going down, and that Inferno will stop my reinforcements, and the orcs are gonna backstab. Alright, he's gonna go down. Gul'dan is just a little bit too crazy. Samaro shouldn't be the biggest threat over there. Yeah, I got lost to see Patrick. Nice to see you there, Psy guy. <coughs> yeah, we are fighting against three orc races. Totally crazy. And they're all be going down. <coughs> but if we're gonna be winning this fight, guys, <coughs> I'll definitely be rewarding myself. <laughs> Another repair coming. <coughs> definitely at the right times that he's using it. But he shouldn't be going too deep here, man. He would need some reinforcements to tank some damage. <coughs> yeah, with tier 3, he's, he went, was tier 2 with the destroy barracks, but we might stay in control there. He was at 200 health <coughs> at one point of the game, so he did slightly heal up. <coughs> Will it be enough? I don't know, man. But look at the Dark Horde, they are definitely crazy. They got the increased uh, attack damage, so he's still probably still only tier 2 on the main building. Right, I might be going tier 4 bottom lane. Just press the orcs a little bit more. That's definitely Chogal. Yeah. And another tier 2 spell. <coughs> Alright, that means he's gonna get the drakes against Gul'dan. That might be enough for us to take over the control over mid lane. <coughs> that will be really, really good for us. Can we push those dragons? Hey, Muxa sucks. <coughs> yeah, good question. It kind of depends on the little girl. But she just fell asleep, so I might be able to play another one. <coughs> yeah, Sickle's gonna do great for us in the middle lane. Don't worry, guys. Skipping upgrading. <coughs> Shogal really got a mess of beating there. Might be able to survive this if he redirects well. <coughs> but those drags there, man. They once screwed me up. But they are gonna be so annoying for Gundan right now. He took some damage at the barracks. <coughs> well, maybe more than just some. Even the tower will not look too good. But yeah, th this is gonna be a massive counter tag. <coughs> so she'll be able to send Sickle Top. And that wouldn't be the worst thing for us. Let's keep upgrading. Samira will buy him time. But hopefully we can stay in control over the Sacrificial Altar. Yeah, we could get the tier 3 foundry, get the mind control ray, <coughs> should be massive power ups. But I just want to slay Gul'dan first. And the overgirl is going to be great. Like I said, tier 4 here could be wonderful. <coughs> Look at Gul'dan, he went tier 4 to save Gul'dan, but it's not going to matter. I never, never, never had any doubts uh, with Sicko here. It's just Sicko, <coughs> that's all I can say. Well, he's in control now, but we're gonna be taking over that control soon because Samira just ain't gonna push us. Hopefully Seiko can stay in melee for a long time to come. I do believe he's still <coughs> only tier 3, isn't he? Yeah, he got the Ogus at level 4. Uh, this Ogus, I mean. So yeah, he's tier 4. So that's not gonna be easy for Kelsey. We're getting a lot of gold mill lane. Of course, the orcs are not giving me too much gold at the bomb lane. But we should be able to deal with them swiftly. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, thank you for the tip, Paladin. <coughs> I'll keep it in my mind. <laughs> oh, Lord. <coughs> oh, no, I think the fell is just disconnected. Maybe just a little bit. I don't know, man. Maybe just got upset that he did slay Sicko. And just left because of it. But nah, he definitely got disconnected. <coughs> Disappointment. But we still got some orcs to slay this game. Sicko won't have an easy time, but he should be able to tank this. And the slower he comes next, the more experience he will go get, so... Just let him have his fun. Let's go tier 3. We should be having 1000 gold before the Felix will attack us. I don't want to take any damage on my base here, so please get lost, man. Yeah, we will stop the horde! <coughs> With these. Dude, just get the hell away from my barracks. Get sick to play with. <coughs> if that's not enough, then I don't know what is. Let's get the mind control. The enemies will definitely enjoy it. <coughs> Maybe one of the most powerful spells in game. <coughs> Frog got big army here now. But if we simply go to 4, we should be able to kill him without the use of any, any hero ourselves. And the orcs with just one barracks remaining will not live forever. <coughs> this is slightly concerning. I will not be sending hero early on to fight Jubaitos. That would be a grave mistake. No spits yet. Alright, <coughs> we need to be cautious here. At least they'll be... Sp <coughs> oh man, I would say they're spawning at a good time, but they are spawning way too early. Oh, still incoming, but it's not gonna be the biggest wave. <coughs> yeah, way too early indeed. Gonna be annoying to deal with. She bites because of that. A very poorly... <coughs> Time to lose it for us there. <coughs> right, let's shoot down those mages as quickly as we can. My APM is a little bit high. I'm not certain why that's even possible in a game like this. Look at Galvin. <coughs> He's gonna get burst down here. Once again, not entirely surprised there. Ooh, Infernals. Woo! <coughs> and also, good down. This AI is going crazy on the middle lane. <coughs> A little crazy than I expected. These are still safe from the enemy offense ultimate weapons for now, but we need to be cautious. So let's get one craftsmanship. Get the barracks in better shape. Fat wing. Oh my lord. <coughs> he just wants to play with Sicko, I guess. That's fine. And then he will have to deal with Spitzpatrick. He's going to be taking a decent beating there. Gudan shouldn't be the worst either. I really want to go tier 4 here, but I think we will have to save up for Spitzpatrick. Sicko can tank there for a little while. So I think we will get him at Half-Life or something like that. It should be enough for level 1 Spitz to finish him off. <coughs> Goodbye, Gudan. Oh, I got a reinforcement, <coughs> but just like, oh man, really, was that spell necessary to hurt the barracks? Come on. That's so mean. <coughs> a really nasty goodbye gift. Sigur going down. 
<coughs> but look at that thing. He'll be coming in rather quickly. I don't think we will be getting 2,000 gold to get the full barracks. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. <coughs> I mean, we got two more minutes before he attacks us. We will be getting hero kill. <coughs> oh no, I just did not anticipate on Gromesh going mid lane as well. <coughs> but we got a much bigger army, so if we can kill him, we will be getting a fair amount of gold. But I just expect us to snowball this mid lane, get, farm a lot of gold so that we can send spits at the right time. Yeah, I can confirm the <coughs> little one is slowly starting thing to wake up. That was a really short sleep, sadly enough. But we will be back with the live stream a little bit later today. But I think we have time to finish this because he's just gonna play for a little while. And otherwise, I will pick her up and <coughs> continue this game. Thrall really did survive for a long time, man, but a lot of respect for Javen. He's <coughs> staying until the very end. Oh man, we're burst through Gromash. Uh, normally, it's something you would like to see, but not when you're in desperate need of some gold. The same here with Thrall. Right, at least we can send out Sickle, but this way will spawn at a really bad time. <coughs> so yeah, we're gonna be in trouble here. Let's steal the enemies. This will be a mess pain to defend against. Let's stun them. <coughs> Let's make sure we can deal with that wave. A little bit easier. <coughs> Losing reinforcements in the middle lane to defend this is great. Right, we should be able to burst him down now. Excellent. I'm happy with the way we defended this. <coughs> I mean, it's still not uh, entirely defended, but we should be able to take him down. Once again, <coughs> the Orcs will not live much longer. We might begin reinforcing middle lane again. Especially thanks to this guy. Uh, it's one copter and one mage. It's okay. I'm not going to be sending anything else but Spitzpatrick because that's going to be a pain to defend already. And we're playing with the range unit indeed. Thank you for telling them, Michael. <coughs> Alright, this is looking good. It's going to be a scary wave. We might be seeing the dragons in this defense. Maybe should be <coughs> upgrading weapons so that we can possibly smite them. The toggling link will be amazing. <coughs> Similar trying to line, but the, uh, the, even with the meta shield, this will be going down rather quickly now. Just missing the infernal here, but Galbin doing great job for us there. <coughs> Footage going down, so this orc is gonna be defeated soon, and that's gonna be annoying since we will have to deal with the felox at two different lanes. And the fact that we got <coughs> the first special unit of the game on our face was also a bit unfortunate. Maybe we should save up for... Um, not Spitzpatrick against him. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. But we could use Smite here if we get the ultimate weapon research. That might destroy him. But I don't think Deathwing alone here is gonna be enough for him. Two heroes. 
<laughs> yeah, well, we could also get the up weapon, the offensive one. <clears throat> the double one will destroy its barracks, even if it gets a spell shield. That's just me against the Felox, while he's probably gonna help us to <clears throat> defeat the Felox first. <clears throat> yeah, Orcs did a good job this game. I was playing with Code Beast. <clears throat> I was somewhere unaware of that until he died. <laughs> oh, that's just nasty. <clears throat> he was a full mana, so yeah, really disappointing that he probably disconnected. Would have been a very scary enemy to fight at the late game. Sickle really leveling up greatly here by killing several heroes. T2 spell. <clears throat> so he cannot use the uh, spell shield. Let's <clears throat> give Sickle even, uh, Spitzpatrick even more experience. <clears> oh <throat> well, yeah, AI went so much middle lane that he probably did not have enough gold to defend there. Very disappointing. <clears throat> he cannot send them a death wing here. He cannot send there. He probably doesn't have any gold to send him at all. But hey, <clears throat> this Spitzpatrick caused such chaos. Oh, <clears throat> we lined up that one perfectly there. <clears throat> yeah, this GG. <clears throat> yeah, Manuel's a very strong enemy. He's al he always plays well. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna became those two heroes as well. <laughs> oh, Lord. <clears throat> yeah, I think we made the right choice with the smite there. <clears throat> Also because he wasn't able to summon one here, we just were able to take him down with more than one barracks. And the fact that he lost the top barracks just... Yeah, <clears throat> just ends the game for uh, for him. What do you need? Of course the AI could use two offense out weapons, but realistically, we should be good. Um, we shouldn't <coughs> uh, be too careless because Gromesh will be coming in with a few infernals. They're spawning a really bad time. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. C compared to the orc, we're still in the, uh, we're still st staying apart for such a long time. It just leaves after still losing one barracks, but he knows it's over. <clears throat> but I really like the attitude of Red to stay in the game for such a long time, while he was defeated by the Felox from the very first minutes of the game. <clears throat> right, let's just use T2. The worst thing that could possibly happen to us is to have one of our buildings in really bad shape. The foundry included in that. <coughs> so let's just get some damage at this tower. Sicko has fallen. Xeris going mid lane, but Sicko will eat him alive. It would be great if we would accidentally send Deathwing out against the Felox. But GG. Tico <coughs> tanking way more damage than he bargained for. Need to get him destroyed quickly so that we can send Spitz to hopefully still save Tico. Might be coming a little bit too late for that. Definitely indeed, but he's probably just gonna be fighting at his own base for a long time to come. Goodbye Necrush, I did not want Xerus to kill two heroes here. So I think it's still the right play for us. Let's eliminate air units instantly with our spider tanks. I think Sick <coughs> um, is doomed. But he really needs Xerus to defend Spitz and we can smite him instantly there. So it's, it's GG man, it's GG. Could even smite that wing if want to. Seems like Sicko might even survive this. Him not feeding Xerox will be amazing. Oh my lord, look at that. Level 4. <coughs> Out repair boss is actually really good. Especially since you got an extra mechanical unit with these spider tanks.
Research complete. <laughs> well, Manuel, you played a really good game. I would have loved to have seen you fight it out against me here. But hey, no luck, no luck. But I must say, man, I personally played a really good game here. Your base was in perfect shape, so I assume you were also in a uh, really, really good form this game. <coughs> and yeah, still caused quite some uh, trouble here with the good hand summon that we just didn't expect. But I <coughs> feel like we're playing one of my best games ever here. Twenty euros slain, night summoned. <coughs> I just saw I heard him. Because we can. Not because it's good useful. <coughs> yeah, look at that AI. So smart he sends Xerox after the smite. But it's still gonna go down, man. That's why I just use it. It's over. <coughs> In the end everything turned out really well. Gels are gonna go down soon. <coughs> ah, it seems like the little one fell asleep again. <laughs> Adam Mohammed is going a little bit too well, guys. <coughs> oh, this guy's still alive. He's gonna outlive the Felox. Uh, that's just upsetting for the Felox. So for this live stream, it might actually mean that we can try and play another one quickly. She still should be sleeping for like an hour or so. <coughs> so you never know, man. Maybe it could be happening. So I think we're gonna be trying to play another game. Should she wake up, then we might have stopped. For the upload or premiere, it means this will be the end, of course. <coughs> yeah, the barracks is destroyed here. It's not like Jugal can make a difference here. Yeah, Spitz is supposed to be melting heroes, especially units, which is fine, but he shouldn't be able to stun or kill wall base or evil armies uh, upon his death. Oh, look at that points. Incredible. 9 heroes summoned, 25 slain. Perfect game, perfect game. So yeah, for the stream, stay a little while long, guys. But we're gonna make a good end here for the premiere. So, I hope you all enjoyed this fight. Gnomes against three orcs. I did not ever see that one before, but it was an excellent, excellent battle. I really wish Manuel was able to stay in the game. But yeah, this connects happen. Regardless, a good, good battle, and our defending was in really good shape. I want to thank Laris for the ongoing support. 11 months, nearly a year. That's amazing, man. You've been with us for a really, really long time, and I definitely hope we are here for years to come. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching, and I'll be glad to see you all next time. Bye-bye.